We could not have a better ambassador for our sport. Well, he's one of the greatest of all time. An amazing career. I mean, obviously won all four majors, and his resume is, it's like, oh my God, it's like you got too much on the resume. He was never under the impression that he had the, all the answers. He was constantly seeking the answers. When the chips were down, 4-5, 30-40, he knew exactly what shot to hit. He made the returner serve a weapon, and he changed the way that uh, a lot of players looked at the game. From the moment he first had a tennis racket in his hand, Andre Agassi displayed the talent, hand-eye coordination, and skills that would turn him into one of the greatest champions the sport has ever seen. Vic Braden recalls the ambitious young Agassi. What do you want to be when you grow up, little boy? And he goes, number one. Under the guidance of a strict father, Agassi honed his blistering ground strokes and his impeccable timing at an early age. He then developed into a professional level player on the courts of the Nick Volatari Academy in Florida. A childhood friend reflects. Everyone wants to know, you know, what Andre was like when he was a kid, and and uh, and I was there. I had a front row seat for he was, uh, he was tortured. You know, as, as he wrote in his book, he was really tortured by the sport, and to see him, um, kind of evolve after rebelling against his incredible natural gift for the sport and succeed in spite of himself in the, in the early stages of his career and then transform himself into not only a, a completely realized tennis player but a completely realized human being which is his much bigger achievement in my opinion has been really uh, something that I've, I admire a lot about him. Wimbledon's gonna let me wear my all my colors. <laughs> they, they changed their roles. <laughs> he was just getting a lot of publicity, and I think people, the ordinary sports fans, gravitated toward him because that maybe he'll show up at Wimbledon in a purple shirt or something. What are they going to do about it? Wearing white was not the only shock that Agassi had in store at Wimbledon. In 1992, Agassi broke through and won his first major title there in dramatic and unexpected fashion defeating Goran Ivanisevic in a thrilling five-set classic. The man who critics said had a tennis resume of all style and no substance first showed he had the guts and determination on the staid lawns of the All England Club. Two years later at the U.S. Open, Agassi secured his second major title, winning his country's national title, defeating Michael Stieck in the final. The victory catapulted him into the highest level of the game. Sampras got back to Thank Deuce you. with a brilliant half volley, stab shot. Game Agassi set. again kept it on. And he In 1995, anchored by a victory at the Australian Open over chief rival Pete Sampras, Agassi reached the plateau of the game by securing the number one ranking in the world just as he said he would as a young boy. He's really, uh, he has earned my respect, boy. Absolute joy to coach for eight years and a better person. When he was coming back or when he was having a great win, there was something magical about the crowd, the atmosphere. His charisma would combine with the tennis public's charisma to create something totally special. In 1999, Agassi cemented his legacy in the pantheon of the game's greats when he won at Roland Garros, becoming only the fifth man to win all four major titles in their career. Another member of this elite club talks about the Agassi greatness. Unbelievable player. Uh, one of the greatest returner serves I've ever seen. Took the ball so early. Uh, he's won uh, all of the majors uh, at least once. Great ambassador for America and, and Davis Cup and touring the world. Uh, can't say enough about our Andre's uh, game. With his legacy firmly entrenched, Agassi gave an emotional farewell to tennis at the 2006 U.S. Open. Over the last 21 years, I have found you, and I will take you and the memory of you with me for the rest of my life. Thank you. The 
next chapter of Andre's story uh, needed to be written, and that was one of somebody who, who took his caring and, and put it into action. And, and you can walk through those doors now. That, that particular passion and dream actually has a lock and key. You open it up, walk in there, you see the school, the classrooms, and, and, it's, and there it is. If you ask Agassi what his most important achievement of his career is, he will definitely answer that it is the Andre Agassi College Preparatory Academy in his hometown of Las Vegas. At his announcement of his induction into the International Tennis Hall of Fame, his school was front and center. He was an icon. He was a superstar. He was entertainment. Especially in our late 20s, I could appreciate him as a person, as a player, and it felt like well, this is more than tennis. This is a, it's an epic moment in the sport. So there's no one more deserved than Andre to go into the Hall of Fame. Uh, he's a hell of a guy, and it's a real honor to call him a friend. The tennis world salutes the rock and roll tennis rebel turned respected statesman of the game champion of all four majors, Davis Cup, Olympic gold medalist, world number one, humanitarian, Hall of Famer, Andre Agassi.